Hello everyone, I'm Bigatech, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to City Skylines, where once again we're working on this little foothill section. We've got the hilltop up in the background, and then we've got this one down here. Last episode, we colorified the city. That's a word. I'm going with it. Colorified. Uh, with these roundabouts. Now we're gonna do kind of the opposite. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start putting in a bunch of concrete. So these areas in here are all for shopping. So these are all shops along here, and I thought, you know, it, it would be kind of nice to have some some paved area in sort of behind them. I think it could work quite nicely. I'm gonna have to drop down to a two by two to do these. Otherwise, I'm gonna remove some buildings. Basically, the idea is you sort of you're going out, you're doing your shopping. And uh, you have a nice little area to relax in out the back. So I am going to be putting in some uh, some tables. Some nice picnic tables. I don't know yet whether I'll use the round ones or the square ones. I might use the square ones. This, this city has a lot of the, um, the round ones already. They are in a few of the roundabouts and also I used um yeah actually no they were just in a few of the roundabouts that's uh, that's all I need to say there I wasn't quite sure where I was going with the rest of that sentence so I'll just end it I do have a couple trees which uh makes zero sense so let's just go ahead and remove those and finish off concreting up here now I am seeing a bunch of um decaying buildings around which is not particularly ideal and it's probably because I completely forgot to put on demand master so that was a bit of a mistake hopefully not everywhere is just completely been decimated um, no everything seems everything seems fine we still have oh actually we've got a bit of a traffic back up here please bear with me while I just uh, quickly fix this issue uh, how am I going to fix it? I think I'll go with two-lane highway. Uh, we'll just go like that. So that's three-lane going into three lanes now. Essentially, we'll just remove... Uh, remove? We'll move it anyway. Move that, and we'll say, you are forced here. You go here, and this one goes here. Lovely. All the way down. Uh, we're going to back here a bit. We're going to force you into this lane. You can go straight and you can go that way. Then at uh, this intersection, I essentially want anyone who's in here to go this way. This lane is still going straight. We're going to go there and there and then hopefully that doesn't cause too much of an issue with merging there doesn't seem to be that much heavy traffic going along here so i'm hoping that that's not going to cause an issue and it is going to allow a lot more traffic to go around here this bend could probably do with smoothing out as well so let's quickly just go ahead and do that this is two lane uh there we go. I was trying to work out why I didn't have the tool available to me. So we'll go something, something like that. And then we'll just tidy this up a bit. Building roads in this game is always sort of an incremental process, right? You sort of build a little bit, remove a little bit, build a little bit, remove it. It's uh, very, very touch and go. In fact, we might just get rid of that that's a single lane off ramp let's go and turn you like that which sort of gives me a little bit more room just to play with this so we want to come out there and there how are you guys coping with that turn mm, still a little sharp uh, let's ideally I would like to just go sort of from here 
and across. And in fact, I can, thanks to road anarchy. So that now... Yeah, that's much nicer. No slowdown whatsoever. Everyone goes straight onto the highway and there should be no issues with merging. Which is very nice. That should clear up that backlog pretty damn quick. Thank you. Alright, moving back on over to the foothill section. Down here, where were we? We were uh, paving this. Lovely. Let's go ahead and finish this off. And in fact, we're going to go ahead and finish this off in a time lapse. I'm sure you don't want to watch me just do this for the next, you know, half an hour, which is probably what's going to take me to, uh, to pave everything. So I'm going to go into a time lapse, and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so we are just finishing up as I place the last one, and I cannot quite get it lined up, uh, which is a little frustrating. Uh, let's see if we can go there. Ah, it's the terrain height. That's what's causing the issue. Let's quickly go and fix that up. I fixed it up obviously on the other one, but not this one. That is okay. Uh, we don't want a single. That's not quite right. Uh, so I kept these pretty sort of uh, empty. I mean, they're not, you know the most fleshed out thing in the world, but I think they, um, it's just a little bit extra, you know, it's a little bit uh, nicer just to have something there as opposed to them being empty. Uh, so we've got a couple little sort of fruit stalls and some, some, sta uh, some stands, some fruit stands is what's there, and some benches, some sort of park benches, and a fountain in each. So that is the first two done, and it does sort of just flesh out that little area a bit. And we have this last one to do over here, which this is all commercial still, right? This is all commercial. I'm almost tempted to strip this out and turn this into a, a little football field. Um, because I'm quite the fan of... What are you? Hang on. You're a small clinic. Let's move you... To there that's fine I can do that I'm quite the football fan so if I could get a football pitch in here see that's a park which is ploppable can I get two in here I can now these do need centering I just realized that they're a little off hopefully that yeah that looks a little more centered and then we'll just put one uh, there lovely the ground well the ground definitely needs some adjustment to it uh, so let's go ahead and do that let's bring everything to this level hopefully that the parks will come up with them that is quite the uh, the bevel. And no, that's gonna... That's decided that that's... There we go. That's where I need one. And this one... Let's put this one... Sideways. We'll put one there. So maybe, actually, hang on. Maybe we can fit two of these. If we go... If we go here, can I fit another one in on this side? No, I don't. I don't quite think I can. That is quite a steep slope, which is a little 
a little daunting. Uh, I would not enjoy playing football on here myself. Um, but we might, you know, we can always put some fences up and the like. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab some nice tall trees. There are always trees around football fields. That is one thing I have noticed. Is there are always trees. Nice tall ones too. And I guess it's it, is, it helps stop the ball from, you know, going going crazy. And grab another line down here. And then a line down here. Now this is going to be our entrance. Uh, and there is going to be some parking. So if we can go in here and find a parking lot. Just a, just a small one. Doesn't need to be big. Um, reasonable sized one. What are you? You're, you're like an actual placeable football field. Which, I mean, would have made sense. But you've got like stands and everything. And this is just, just a small town little, uh, you know, just a little one. So we, we, won't, we won't put the, the big one in. How big you? You are far too big for a car park. That's going to go here anyway. We need a, yes, 2x4, 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 and 2x4. Can get rid of that tree. And how does that look? A couple different levels to it, which actually... Uh, no, not it's not going to work. That's not going to work. So let's just get rid of that. Uh, let's actually get rid of this road and redraw it. And hopefully it's going to sort of give us some nicer land to work with. Yeah, I think that's that's more workable. So let's, let's try and find a 2x4 one of these. What, what does that look like? That looks... I mean, that's not bad. Again, we get some stepping to it, which is, you know, not ideal. But I guess it's because it's going to the road height, not the 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 ground height. So if we once more get rid of that. And we'll also get rid of a couple of these. Then we will terrainify all of this to be the same level. Like so. Then bring this road I'm actually gonna curve this one and go here and to about there and then there and there lovely and then a straight line from here to here how's that work that looks fine and is that now gonna give me a straight Area to ah, the road's not straight anymore. I'm not going to fit a 2x4. I need smaller than 2x4. Hmm. Frustrating. Where are you? You're a road with lanterns. I don't want a road with lanterns. What I want is a car park. You're, I mean, you're a tiny little car park. And you're a little too small. Oh, if only, okay, let's, let's rebuild this road. And let's bring it out just a little bit to here and then curve it around to go here and around is that it gets us very very close to the highway but does give us plenty of room in here which i mean we could we could go ahead and do something with that that's it's not a problem we can we can work with that. Let's get rid of some of these trees here that were intersecting my road. Do we want that much space? Mm, or do we want... I don't think we need quite that much room. Let's, let's try that again. I do want a straight road, I think. Something like that. Yeah, that. I mean, you know, a little bit of a kink to it, but that's okay. Because now we can go ahead and place in a 4x4 four four here, and here, and here, and here, and... Is that one going to work? Uh, we'll, we'll remove that end one. Uh, we won't have that. Uh, and we'll just bring our trees 
which are not in the tree looking menu, but in the, the other menu. And we'll go with a line of trees here. And we'll go with another line up. And then I'm going to bring... Uh, we've got some there. What I might do is just go ahead and get our normal tree with leaves number two. Bring the size up a little bit. Oh, no. Down a little bit. I was on the wrong thing. And just... Let's, let's actually go with single. And just put in some of those. We'll get rid of that one. Gives us a wonderful little field. Now we can go back to parks. And I did see some fences in here. So let's try and find those fences. Here we go. That is a chain link gate. Which we're going to want sort of... We're going to want to get rid of that. And then we're going to want to get this here. And then we want the L to go there. Is that joined up? That's joined up close enough. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to get much better than that. Then we can go ahead and get the 1 by 8 nice long fences so that we don't have to worry about placing too many of them. There we go. Uh, that's a 1 by 4 which is a little bit much. So what we'll do is we'll put another gate just like there. Does that line up? That does line up in fact. And we'll put another corner piece on just here. We'll fill that gap up in a C. And there we go. A lovely little football area. I would love to play in this little park. I think it would be quite fun. Lovely little area. We'll just put in one more tree there just to fill it in. And maybe maybe a couple more in here. A bit more with some color, I think, is needed. And then along here as well. And then a nice big dark one. Then we're going to grab the normal trees. And let's go ahead and pump up the size to... 72, 72 sounds good, and just repaint in these trees that I had removed. Also, I'm going to go ahead and just smooth out the land here. Lovely. How's that looking? Looking good? No, no, I broke it, I broke it. Undo, undo, undo. There we go. Let's, uh, let's not remove my football fields. That would, uh, that would not be ideal. There we go. Smooth out just as much as I can. Looking good. Lovely little football area uh, as I crack a, a bit of a high there. Um, but we do have a football area. We have our uh, commercial sort of spaces over there. And just overall, I'm very happy with how this little foothills area has turned out. One thing I am thinking would be kind of cool is some way to get up here. But I just cannot think of a way to connect, like, up this massive hill. Like, that's, I just, I don't see a way to do it. Not without some serious zigzagging and unrealistic sort of, uh, you know, road building. So... I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it uh, without that connection, though it would be kind of cool. 
let's just go ahead and tree up this area with these ones. And I guess one thing that's sort of been, I've been thinking about is that this is starting to get pretty laggy. Things are lagging quite a bit at the moment. And it's just because A, I've got so many uh, mods and assets installed. And B, because I've got so many areas unlocked in the game. I mean, we've got all of this is all unlocked. And despite it being, you know, I mean, it's not much built, but there's a lot of props placed and a lot of trees and a lot of that kind of stuff. And also, you know, I my level of detail is quite high in the distance and there's no fog and all that kind of stuff. So it's starting to lag a bit. So I'm thinking I might go ahead and start a new series. Now I am, I'm opening this up to you guys, right? So please leave a comment below if you'd want, if you want me to continue with this series with, um, with golden territories or whether you'd like me to go into a new series. Now the new series, what it's going to be is basically just a, a sm this has all been big city kind of stuff, right? There's been a couple, uh, like this area that's been a bit smaller. Uh, but most of it's been big city kind of stuff. So what I'm thinking of doing is doing sort of small town farming kind of stuff. Where everything is spaced out. The town's sort of uh, all low level. Nothing, nothing high density, nothing like that. Lots of um, dis space between stuff on highway. So nice long open highway with um, with train tracks running along it, which we can do some decorations along, and then just yeah, just nice little farming areas. It's something new. It's something I haven't done myself, and it's something I don't see done very much. So that's where I'm thinking of taking this. So leave a comment below with what you want to see and which one you want me to go with. There are still a few more episodes left in this. I still need to go up here and finish off decorating uh, Hilltop City. And there was one other thing that I wanted to do. Ah, so there's Hilltop City. And I know I said that I'd do a big city build here. And I think I will. But what I think I might do with this is I'll... Um, I'm going to do just one big time lapse sort of build of this area. And that's going to be sort of the final episode. So we'll we'll spend maybe a couple more episodes building out this area, fleshing it out, designing it, making it look all pretty. And then we'll possibly, depending on how you guys, you know, um, comment below, finish off the series with a nice big time lapse build of this. Either way, it'll be a time lapse build. But depending on how you comment, it'll either be the ending of it or it'll just be a nice big time-lapse build for you. Let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and listening to my rambling there at the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And also, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.